friends welcome to bolte books with anjali today's story is stage fright fright means fear are you scared of going on the stage if yes then read the story and learn how we can overcome our fear champa loves singing more than anything else in the whole wide world she sings in the bathroom and on the roof she sings to the hills and to the moon she sings like a lion and like a bee she sings through rain and through heat When Champa sings she is filled with the most marvelous feeling in the world One day when Champa sings Basant's eye light up I have an amazing idea he says Basant is Champa's best friend and he is always bursting with ideas some are terrific and some are terrible you should sing on annual day says person what a terrible idea says champa why not you love to say champa has in told basan about the only time she got on stage and nearly fainted with fear i i can't sing in front of so many people i don't even sing in front of my and pa you do sing around me all you need is a little practice champa Should I? Yes, yes, yes. What if Mahi and Paras laugh at me? If they do, it just makes them silly and mean. You are an amazing singer. The very thought of singing in front of a crowd fills her stomach with butterflies. Champa is excited and. terrified at the same time but she loves singing so much she decides to give it a try champa practices long and hard she rolls out of bed with a soft hum she sings while multiplying and dividing she makes her voice go up and down and down and up while taking the goods out to grace she sings through her mouth she sings through her nose She even sings upside down. Everyone at home is excited about Champa's big day. They give her advice. Take long and deep breaths before you sing. Give the audience your widest smile. just be yourself throw a broken plate at the door and eat 12 grapes for luck the day before her performance champa holds a special rehearsal it was a roaring success Finally it's annual day 
Champa is wearing the sweater that her grandfather knit specially for the show. When it's her turn to sing, her tongue feels rubbery. The stage is too big. The lights are too bright. And there are too many people in the audience. Champa's throat tightens. Her hands are clammy. She remembers to smile at the audience. When she begins to sing, out comes a whisper. It is as if someone has swallowed her voice. Champa takes a long and deep breath. And tries again. And out comes a squeak. There is a long gasp from the audience. Champa's heart pounds loudly. Thud, thud, thud. Her head starts to spin. That's when she sees Basant. Waving wildly at her. She is so glad to see him. And so she tries again. At first the song comes softly. Although her voice is shaky, it sounds somewhat right. Then slowly the music flows out of her. Smooth and strong and melodic. It does not matter that the stage is too big or that the lights are too big or even that the audience has a lot of people. Champa lets her voice go wild and free and as she does she is filled with the most marvelous feeling in the world. Hope you like this story. Thanks for watching this video. Links for more stories are given in the description. Take care. Bye-bye.